All right, everybody, this is a quick video showing you how uh, to navigate your student accounts on Sight Reading Factory. Uh, so very first and foremost, you're gonna see up at the top here, all of our different presets here, my recent configuration. This is the last thing that I used. Um, saved, I can save different configurations. Um, assignments, this is where you're gonna find assignments for class. So if you click on this here, um, then you're going to see all of the different assignments that you have. You won't have as many because you're only enrolled in one course. And my student up here is uh, enrolled in all three of my courses. So you're only going to see one version of all of these things. And to do one of those practices, all you have to do is click on the launch button. We're going to do that. Um, the first time that you use it, you are going to have to test your microphone. And it's just going to take you through this really quick thing. And the, the dancing lines on the screen means that it is picking up my microphone. Good. Okay. Um, so then we... Uh, we can listen to it if we want. That's just going to be me talking again. And then you're just going to follow all of the prompts uh, through to here. I'm going to exit out of this assignment without, without actually doing it. And here I am back at assignments. Um, then if you just want to practice sight reading, you can start right here at sight, start sight reading. Okay, very first and foremost, you need to choose your instrument. You're going to scroll down to where it says voice and click on that. And then you're going to choose soprano, alto, tenor that reads bass clef, tenor that reads treble clef, baritone, bass, cambiata, which is a changing guy from an alto to a tenor. That would be the cambiata. And then if you want to look at choirs with multi parts or choir in unison, I'm going to choose soprano. And I'm going to choose my level. Okay, um, I'm going to choose two, level two. And then the only time signature that you really need to worry about right now is four, four. So click on that one and random suggested key signature. That will give you one of these three key signatures. Then you're gonna click on either challenge, which will look a lot like an assignment or free play. I'm gonna click free play. And then it gives me an example to start sight reading. If I'd like to see how fast it's gonna ask me to go, I can click here. And that will show me the metronome and you'll be able to hear it. I can turn that back off. I can make it slower or faster if I want. So if I want it faster, I can make it maybe 110. And that one's a little faster. Okay. And if I want to hear the starting pitch, all I have to do is click on this. And that'll give me the starting pitch. Okay. Um, if you have any settings that you want to take, um, take care of. Over here you can change it. Oh, I only want four measures. Um, I can uh, put measure numbers on if I want. Um, cool, that looks good. And then we're going to click next. And then it'll only give me four measures. Awesome. So then I click starting note. And I have some time to practice too. You can also play the exercise and it'll play it back to you. So that's really useful if you want to see uh, how accurate you're being. You can sing along with the playback and change that tempo so it's faster or slower and things like that. So that and then anytime that you need to do a next one, click next. So that is the basics of how to navigate Sight Reading Factory. I hope that helps you guys. Uh, and I'll make a series of other videos on how to do specific assignments. Okay.